talk, shop, pop, movies. Ahoy there, this is Derek, the Convicted Cinephile, and if you're a Convicted Cinephile yourself, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. On my channel, I like to talk, shop, and pop open, that is movies and physical media. And I'm back at a Barnes & Noble store. I don't think I've been to this Barnes & Noble, at least as far as making videos go. I can't remember if I've been here for a Criterion sale or anything like that. So hopefully they have movies, first of all. And I'm, I'm hoping to find that Witness 4K, I'm afraid that it is out of print now, but uh, we'll see what they have. Maybe they'll have a Warriors 4K. Something cool, huh? Let's check it out. So I walked around the Barnes & Noble here two times just to make sure, but here's yet another location that apparently does not sell movies. So glad this is the furthest one away from me. That's sort of within reason, but luckily there is a big lots in the same strip mall and it's the only big lots within like hours of my house. So I'm going to check in there and see if they have anything. So, you know, once in a while I'll find something cool there. All right. So Barnes and Noble was a bust. Let's hope we get something cool here. Hey, this is actually awesome. I love Argo. I don't have this extended edition declassified Blu-ray. Look at that. It's, it's like a big fat arrow box set all in its own comes with posters and all that cool stuff nine bucks isn't bad for that i'll actually consider that one this is a cool carry slip cover it's a dvd though <laughs> i haven't seen this before movie in a coloring book for eight dollars you get a batman blu-ray and a wonder woman coloring book i don't know why they couldn't just throw a batman coloring book in there but you know that's too difficult um i don't sports but i think anyone who does would like this seven dollars for the second season of 30 for 30 or whatever the hell it's called um <laughs> yeah it's a good deal it's a dvd but that's still a good price for that box set for sure and then we got sully starring autumn shank right here five bucks not bad all right let's actually start looking here a lot of the same stuff i always see here like creed killer elite magic mike they don't rotate their stuff too often and that's why I only come here maybe three, four times a year at the most. This is actually a good deal. I bought this here last time I came. $6.99 for this Thrills and Chills set. You get four cool horror movies in there. Good price for that. Gods in General is a good four hour long movie there. All right, next shelf we have more of the same. A lot of DVDs I know I'm not going to buy. And down here there's a couple of Mill Creek double features, which is cool. And this is nice. I like Queen of Scream triple pack blu-ray dvd combo 7.99 you get i know what you did last summer when a stranger calls in vacancy i don't own any of those so i would actually consider grabbing that at some point steel books don't see these here very often mocking j part two for seven dollars on blu-ray kind of cool something something different right anything else here samson what the hell is this that looks terrible all right what else do we got here uh, move things out of the way. This is always a half half. Hey, another steelbook. Green Lantern on Blu ray, nine bucks. You know, the movie sucks, but hey, it's a cool steelbook. <laughs> another Mocking J one there. More of the same. Chips, more chips, more chips. Another 30 for 30. It's the same season. All right, down here. Hey, a Scream Factory Blu ray for $7. Mad Max. That's a good deal if you don't have it, that one yet. And you don't care about getting the 4K or what have you. I didn't expect to see a Scream Factory Blu ray here, that's for sure. And a couple of decent ones in here, like Bull Durham. Superman cartoon from the olden days. This Gumby Blu ray is hilarious. <laughs> the Gumby movie, five bucks for this. Worth buying just for the weird case. All right, Punky Brewster, the complete series on DVD for 35 bucks. Geostorm for five. I've never seen this. I'm sure it sucks, but hey, I'd watch it. <laughs> I like terrible things. You're on my channel, you know that. Aquaman for nine bucks. I already have that. Uh, more San Andreas. Lots of San Andreas around here. And whatever the hell this Robin Hood thing is. All right. Down here, what do we got? God's Not Dead. Another one that's here all the time. Conjuring. I have that one. Limitless. Sunglasses that I was going to buy here. And the Nanny Complete Series for how much? 40 bucks. That doesn't seem terrible. 
Fran Drescher is a, a good looking woman. I, I mean, I'll be, I'll be frank. And then she's the runs the SAG now. So that's cool. <laughs> All right. Vikings, top gear, some twilight action here. Misery on DVD. You know, they got a handful of decent things here. On the other side here, they got this awkwardly wrapped RoboCop 2-pack. But hey, if you need RoboCop, not a bad deal. All right. And there's another Thrills and Chills pack. Molly's Game on DVD. Smurfs. Spotlight's a great movie. We already have it, though. All right. Anything cool here? Hey, what the hell's he doing here? This is awesome. I love these. These are the Mago figures. My buddy Huck has like this entire collection. We got Robin here. 20 bucks though, I think, for this thing. Uh, yeah, I love the artwork and stuff on it, but that doesn't seem like a good deal. I think they're like pretty much that much at Walmart. Um, anything down here? There's another steelbook. That's cool. Blue Planet steelbook. Very cute. Eleven ninety nine. That doesn't seem bad because it's like a whole season of a show, I'm guessing. Cool. Uh, yeah, not much more here worth looking at. That wasn't everywhere else. Alright, not much here. Let's see what I grabbed. And we're back. Yeah, that was lame. <laughs> I It's always fun to go to a store, like a Barnes & Noble or whatever, expecting to buy arrows and criterions, only to find out that they don't sell movies at that location. It seems to be all the newer locations, or the ones that are on one level if you go to one that's two levels then you're pretty much guaranteed to find movies it's a pretty big store i was surprised they didn't have any but anyways luckily big lots was there to save the day a little bit and make my trip worthwhile they don't have a lot of stuff but once in a while you'll find something cool and i grabbed that big arrow arrow big argo box set it's like an arrow box set for eight ninety nine, this is a uh, still available on Amazon, but it's thirty bucks on Amazon. So nine bucks is a good deal. I have this movie on Blu ray, but I don't have this version. This has two cuts of the film, the theatrical and the extended. I've never seen that one, and I just love this movie. And this is a cool set for the price. I know there's a four K of this, but it's more than this costs. And I just like having the big chunky sets. Warner Brothers always does a good job with stuff like this, and it has an ultraviolet code, so you know that's still gonna work. But you know, we're here. So I'm going to open this up so you guys can see it if you haven't seen this thing before. And uh, yeah, never doubt your big lots. If you're lucky and you have more than one of them in your state, <laughs> go to them more often. That one is like a dump, like honestly. It's the only one within like an hour drive of my house. I think there's only two in Minnesota. There used to be a lot more. And then they close all the good ones down. Good ones meaning like less trashy looking on the inside. This one looks like a Dollar General on the inside. Do better, Big Lots. Open up more stores that aren't so dirty. It is a thick box set. Nice. I'm going to attempt to take this J card off without ripping everything. There we go. So, yeah. This is a good, chunky set. It's all embossed and glittery and extended declassified edition. That's embossed as well. And I love that it's a Best Picture winner and has the little Best Picture thing on the back. Here is... The, action, the back of it, so it's got some artwork on there. The only downside to this, <laughs> there's like a little chunk of foam in there to make the rest of it like fit properly. But hey, if that's the worst thing about it, I'm not complaining. Here's the actual case. It's at least unique to this package, I think. It's not the same case that is, that I already own, let's put it that way. Because it's two discs, I believe. Yep. Movie and a special features disc separately. That is neat. And this has special features, Argo declassified, behind the scenes about the story and everything it's based on, and it has two cuts of the movie, and the extended cut is nine minutes longer than the theatrical, and it's got interviews with the cast and crew, producers, picture and picture with eyewitness accounts, commentary with Ben Affleck and the screenwriter Chris Terrio, Academy Award winning screenwriter, but yeah, it's a cool little set. And this box is big. Like, this isn't like a paper-thin box. This is like a thick, arrow-style hard box. Anyone want this digital copy that's 20 years old and won't work? Go for it. There you go. Use your ultraviolet accounts for this account. <laughs> Let's go throw that away. Here's this uh, declassified confidential Argo Extended Edition envelope. Looks all dirty, but I think it's just supposed to look like that. Yeah, this is a cool set for the price. I see. I like little stuff like this. Like, I'd rather have a cool little set. You get a Ben Affleck 
Tony Mendez staff image picture there. Very cool. I like it. Two posters. Two posters. Take that arrow video. That's what you get for <laughs> not the. Uh... This is great. This Argo concept movie poster. A cosmic conflagra conflagration. What? Is that a word? That's cool, though. Very neat. That's just cool artwork. Yeah, I seriously, I love this movie. I was happy at One Best Picture back in those days. It's not my favorite movie from 2012, but I was rooting for Ben Affleck once I saw this in theaters. I thought he did an amazing job directing it, and then he got snubbed at the Oscars, even though he won at the Directors Guild, and I've said that already in like my most recent video. It was BS to me. Um, my favorite movie that year was probably Django Unchained. So, 10 years later, I would probably prefer that one win. But this is cool. Ah, that's a map. Little, little scenes and such. Yeah, I love me some Argo. Argo is a solid movie. It's just one of those, everything about it is good. It's perfectly paced. It's well acted. Based on an interesting story, which I'm sure, you know, they take Hollywood liberties with, obviously, because that's what movies do. But it still happened. And then you get a book. This is a hard, hard book, too. Very cool. But yeah. That's a neat Blu-ray set. I think I remember that it shows you people in the movie and a little bit about them. So I like this one for Sag Ensemble as well. Very deservedly so. That's a cool set. I like this a lot. I'm glad I grabbed this. Like, I know this is one of the cases where I know I love the movie. So why not get the super duper special edition? There it is again. Argo Extended Edition Declassified Blu-ray Set for nine bucks at the big lots. That is what I got for you today. Sorry there was no Barnes & Noble searching, but I'll go to my other local store that I know sells movies probably tomorrow. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Shop. Pop. Movies.